Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do something a bit Greek. I'm going to show you how to make lamb kleftiko. So before we start, a shout out to my new Patreon superfan, Charlene Noto. And a shout out to Multichef888 who requested this and I'm really glad he did because it's one of my favourite things, especially when I go on holiday to Greek or Greece or Cyprus and it's actually amazingly easy to make so let's do it. Now if you've never had lamb plethico it's basically a one pot dish. It's extremely slow cooked lamb that falls off the bone and the name comes from apparently the olden days when bandits up in the mountains would you know steal the old sheep or goat and um, slaughter it and cook it in like under buried underground so that the um, aroma and the smoke didn't get out and uh, that, so that they weren't spotted and um, so kleftico means stolen and we get our word our English word kleptomaniac from the Greek. Now ingredients for the kleftico you're going to need about a kilo of lamb with the bone in, big onion possibly two, a load of garlic, a couple of tomatoes and two or three potatoes. I've, I've already partly peeled and cut these into chunks. A glass of dry white wine, also a bit of lemon juice, maybe some of the peel, some rosemary and some oregano, oregano. And the lamb, what I've got here is uh, a couple of lamb shanks. You can use shoulder of lamb, that's good. Um, at a push you can use leg of lamb, but that um, uh, wouldn't take as long to cook and probably wouldn't be as flavoursome. But anyway, it's, it's up to you, more or less, what you've got. As is most of this recipe, it does tend to uh, vary from place to place in, in terms of what actually goes in it. But, you know, your basics, lamb, potatoes, these things are what you need. So I'm not going to bury my cleftico underground. I'm going to cook it in the oven because, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm that kind of guy. So you want your oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius if it's a fan oven or 200 degrees if it's a conventional one. And is that gas melt for? Might be. And uh, so I'm going to cook it in this sort of glass casserole dish. And I forgot to mention olive oil. Good old glug of that. And um, throw in some of your rosemary and your oregano. Maybe a pinch of salt. Also crush your garlic or um, cut it in half. Throw that in. Actually that's a bit mean. You need uh, more than that. <laughs> Okay, that'll do, I think. Um, now, pop the lamb in and just swizz it, swizz it, <laughs> just swizz it around to, to get coated in the oil and the herbs a bit. Mmm, nom nom nom. Okay, and then just pop the potatoes in, just place them around the meat. And these, these are Desiree potatoes, which are a fairly waxy kind of spud. You, you want waxy ones rather than floury ones because they'll hold up better to the extremely long cooking. Onion. This is a red onion because it's a red onion and uh, I haven't got any of the normal brown ones, so it doesn't actually matter. But, um, peel it. and slice it. Pop those in as well. And the tomatoes. Pop the tomatoes in on top. They will disintegrate and become a kind of sauce 
and don't forget the vino. And also a bit of lemon, as much or as little as you like. So I'll just, uh, just cut the peel a little bit and pop that in as well, just to give it some extra zing. Alrighty, that's it. Now, to simulate the effect of the underground oven thing, we're going to wrap it very tightly in foil so that, in theory, no steam or anything can escape. Actually, I'll just um, put some more rosemary in because I do like that. It's very good with lamb. And some ground black pepper. And a bit more oil. Okay, so let's uh, wrap it. Oh no, <laughs> that's the last bit of foil. Could have done with um, more than that. Come on. We should be okay. <laughs> and that goes in the oven for at least four hours, maybe five. And if you've got a slow cooker, this is a perfect dish to do in that. Just do exactly what I did, whack it in the slow cooker and leave it on for, you know, the whole day till we come back from toiling in the fields and it'll be wonderful. <laughs> Okay, five hours later, I reckon it should be done. Imagine you can smell that. Mm -mm. I can. Oi. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> oh, wow. I thought what I'd do is put some on the plate. Mm. You know, like. So, uh, yeah. So, look at this. When he did this for tea the other night, we had it with <laughs> Greek salad and made with feta cheese, and we also had tzatziki. Tzatziki. <laughs> and it was grilled. Yeah, that was, that was version one, which Ooh. failed a bit. Oh wow! Mm, this one hadn't. Oh yeah, that is just what you need. Apparently it's cooked. Mmm, could be. <laughs> if I blow at it, do you think all the meat will fall off the bone? Yeah. <laughs> Fly into space. Mmm. Mmm. This is lovely. You get all the tomato flavour coming through. Oh, and the lemon. Uh-huh. Mmm. Been having a lemon theme day. Yeah. Where did I first come across preserved lemons? Oh, that's not this video. No, I know. But when did I first come across preserved lemons? In probably in a Moroccan restaurant. Mm. <clears throat> he made them once and they were fab. And he's made some more because he keeps asking. They're not ready. They won't be ready for two weeks. They won't be ready for two weeks. I know. I know. But aren't they pretty? <laughs> <laughs> I have to look forward to those. Oh, this is lovely. Because mm -mm. you've got pretty well whole lemon in this, have you? 
has chopped up. No, oh, it's only half one. All right, because it's all the skin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to finish this video? Mm. Don't let um, me interrupt. She took me dinner. <laughs> Alright. Here's what I prepared earlier. <laughs> okay, right, that's it. <laughs> Lamb left to go. Um, so if you like that, give it a like, share, subscribe, become a patron, make a donation, all that lovely stuff. And, and cook it, make it at home. Oh, it's yeah. marvellous. Invite your friends round. Apparently, people sometimes try making things what I make. <laughs> Good idea. Mm. Anyway. This is gorgeous. I mean, you know, I don't like lamb, but this is why. Mm. Thanks for watching. Oh, we have to do the thing. Oh, we have to do the thing. Right. You know, like, <laughs> a double act. <laughs> and see you next time. Yes, was never any good at choreography. This is really, this is really yummy. Mmm. Oh, wow.